Hello, this is Caleb with App Design Tips, and in this video I want to walk you through creating wireframes. Now that we have our artboards and grids in place, we can get started with our content wireframing. And the purpose of wireframing is to quickly drop down the elements that you know you need, and then you can change those elements later as you're designing. So let's start with the login screen here. And I'm just going to create a field for a username. And I'll just change the field to light gray. Now I can click on the select tool and hold down option to duplicate this field for the password. And then I will duplicate it once more for the submit button. And here I'm just going to drag the edges out to the edge of the artboard. And now if I click the T key for text, I'll type in username here. And here I can do password. And again, we're not worrying about the design or layout right now. Just making sure the elements are in place to design later. So now we have our login screen. And now for the product page, we know that we're going to need a nav bar. So we'll add this right here. And now we'll draw a product image. And if I hold down shift, I can constrain this to a square. Or if you'd like, you can make it a landscape rectangle. Now I'll add some more text here. And this is where the product title is going to go. And just below that is where I'm going to add the price. And now because this is a product page, we know we're going to have a tab for description. And then I'm just going to duplicate this tab. And this will be a tab for the reviews. So we'll add the text here. And again with the text tool enabled, I'm going to drag a rectangle area for the text box area. Now underneath this we want to show some top rated products. And again we'll click the R tool for rectangle and draw a rectangle here. Holding down shift we'll constrain this to a square. And now I'm just going to duplicate this square a few times. And now we have four top rated products. Now I'm going to hold down option again and copy this text for the title and the price. And lastly we'll click R for another rectangle. And this will be our add to cart button. Now under the navigation we know that we're going to need a hamburger menu so I'm just going to draw a rectangle in there for that. We have a search icon and a shopping cart icon. And lastly we'll create a rectangle where the logo is going to go. So now that we have this wireframe in place we can begin designing in the next video.